Good day everyone! Welcome to Cactus Caffeine. My name is Anna. For today, I am not in my backyard. This is my mother-in-law's backyard and I consider her a master in growing totem pole cactus. She grows them so well without even trying. So this is one among her many totem pole cactus. I saw it when she planted this in the ground and it was only, I would say, two feet tall. But look at it now. This is way over six feet tall. I don't know how she does it because my totem pole cactus in my yard is still small compared to this. Even though mine is uh, was planted in the ground, I think a year ahead of this. But mine is nowhere even half the size of this. <laughs> so again, my mother-in-law just has a natural green thumb and she can grow i would say anything without even trying <laughs> so this one is planted in the ground i don't know what these are i think she said it's dill so um, she doesn't remember what it is, but she does use it for cooking. But I think it's dill. Anyway, going back to this cactus. So look how fat this one is. And Oh, look. This one is already growing roots. Ooh, she can actually take this out if she wants to and plant that. Okay, so from the main plant, it has grown arms. Fat ones. These are fat arms so this is not the mother plant i will show you where the mother plant is look like a people look like a what look like a dog oh it looks like a face yeah oh this one yeah it does huh <laughs> looks like a face looking back at you so this right here is the mother plant it used to be taller it grew as high as that window but she had to chop it down because it was leaning it was already uh, collapsing towards her wall as you can see she used uh, wood there to prop it up but it got to the point that it became too top heavy so she was forced to chop them down and hence that's how she came up with uh, so many totem pole cactus in her yard Here's another one here on the ground. I think this one is... I've never seen this before. So she probably just recently planted this. And she has two more in here again. So this probably came, she said, from this one. Wow. Look, she has more in her front yard. All these came from that mother plant. Cuttings from the cuttings from the mother plant. Wow! Look at that! And another one here in her front yard. Here's another cutting from her totem pole cactus from that mother plant. She just keeps taking off the arms and uh, rerouting them. And this is again one of them, which is also another giant. This is probably six feet tall. Oh, she had to support it. Okay, so she has a towel here. This is a lemon tree for it not to rub against the tree. She said she couldn't move it because this thing is heavy. That is full of water. It is heavy, so she couldn't move it. So in the meantime, she just used a towel to prevent the cactus from scratching to the lemon tree branch and she said she doesn't use any soil she just buys a uh, potting soil and that's what she uses for all of her plants so see how rich this is that is the type of soil that she uses even for her aloe veras see this is potting soil so looking at this, I think that is what I am doing wrong with my totem pole cactus. I found that my totem pole cactus needs to be watered more often because I think my soil is too gritty for it. This is one cactus that likes 
water it likes to drink water so maybe i should put more potting soil in my mix for my cactus to grow fast like hers and this is one of the cuttings from that mother plant yeah long time ago that one the mother plant this one though looks funny <laughs> what's going on there look how big her aloe veras are oh my gosh my aloe vera looks like bonsai next to hers <laughs> and there is that other totem pole again against her lemon tree and another one in here so what she does is she plants the cuttings in large pots what is this maybe five gallon pot so she plants them there so she said if you plant it in a big pot they will grow fast and they will grow tall hmm makes sense i guess the bigger root system it creates probably the bigger uh, cactus or the faster your cactus will grow as well do i dig this or yeah. do i pull it who are you go hurt the loop oh okay oh my mother-in-law is giving me this one yeah don't pull it here take take it take this Please, you you panda or send you should sure know what ah. <laughs> okay okay let me help you you want me to pull it pull it uh, no dig it Let's dig it Take it out and out. Oh, oh yeah, this is rooted. Don't. It's rooted good. Wow. <coughs> when did you plant this? I thought this is a new new, new one. one. New. It, it already formed so many <coughs> roots. Look at that. Wow. You may pick you two up before third is my house. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, Yay! Thank you. I am back in my backyard and I am now planting this totem pole cactus that my mother-in-law gave me. So I definitely used a more, even more organic mixture in this pot. Although I did not go 100% potting mix like what she does i'm still afraid of rotting this cactus so even though it's more organic there is still pumice and scoria in there actually what i did is i mixed this is some um, old soil so this is a um, mixture of different cactus um, soil mix so whenever i repotted some cactus this is the old soil that i'm just recycling so as you can see it's very gritty but to this i added more potting mix i would say i used more potting mix than this one and that is what i used to plant this cactus in but then i like to show you guys this is the um the soil that the root ball it was attached to the root ball of the cactus that i just planted so this came from her yard and very interesting because her soil it's very fine feels almost like a beach sand <laughs> it's very fine sandy and i could uh, see that there's a mixture of clay soil in there because the soil is light brown so that tells me there's uh, some clay in it probably the in-ground soil that she has in her backyard mixed with some potting mix there's a few rocks here and there but not too much so this is the soil that the cactus has been growing it and it has a very thick root ball i even had to detach some of the root ball well this was already like hanging so i took this out and there's still a lot that was in there so whatever this soil mixture is it is working so oh another thing i forgot to tell you is i actually mixed some of this old soil in here so i still need more soil actually to fill this up up to that level where you can see the brown mark 
so i am going to be mixing some more the old soil my cactus soil and a lot more potting mix here is my very first totem pole cactus which my uh, mother-in-law also gave me three i would say almost four years ago so i planted it in the ground when she gave it to me this was about a foot tall and three years after uh, that's all the growth it made i would say it's about a little over two feet tall now it's nowhere like the size of her totem pole cactus the one that i showed you at the very start of this video this is even older than that i planted this maybe two years ahead of hers and yet hers is already above the wall mine is still that short <laughs> um nothing's wrong with it it's healthy except it's growing very slow slower than hers i think it's my soil so i used a uh, too gritty of a soil here and i find myself um watering this more often than i would want to otherwise it shrivels up very fast so i think i use too gritty of a soil here for this cactus anyway here is the totem pole cactus that she gave me all right so i planted it in this pot i used um richer soil mixture for this one hopefully this will grow faster than that one and i will have a big or a bigger totem pole cactus all right if you like this video guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up or give my mother-in-law a thumbs up subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants follow me in facebook and in instagram and until next time bye everyone and cheers